Morning, everyone. It is currently two minutes to five. I'm just washing the vet. I'm just sort of give you a little bit of a production update. So, um, for milk solids, we are three point three percent ahead for this season, and for the month, we're twelve percent ahead. It's always going to go down as the month goes on, but we are um, nine. 1,913 milk solids ahead. So that is really good. We're nearly 2,000 milk solids ahead. So we should, I think we're still gonna keep producing a little bit more than what we were last year. So um, yeah, last year I think we did 74, so we're on target to do 76,000 this year. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's really, really good. <laughs> Come on, move up! Come on, girls, move up, move up! Get up, girls! Up, 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 up! Go on up, go on, move up! Go on up, go on, move up! Not a bad day at the moment. Yes, yeah, so that's milking done. So, I was going to spread lime straight away, but I've got the sprayer on the tractor at the moment, and I need to spray out the last turnip paddock so I can plant it hopefully in the next couple of weeks so yeah I'm going to do that before before I take it off and put the spreader on to spread some lime hey Louie here we go I just found a water leak on the back of our tanks here before, before our house so when I was in town I brought a new fitting also brought some glyphosate because after this I'm going to spray out the turnip paddocks and then um, then we'll get on with spreading lime but I've also got to grease the spreader and the tractors, they all need doing so. Got a few things to do before we actually get to spreading lime. But it's leaking just here. I've turned the pump off, so I shall put a new one on. Well, I've just actually suspect that it's just got loose somehow. So I'm just gonna tighten this up a bit more and see if it fixes it. Turn the pump on now and see what happens. Yep, that fixed it. Not leaking anymore. Well, better put that fitting aside. Probably actually need one for one of those for uh, the troughs that we got from Dozer. So here's the trees unloaded. I think we'll actually probably plant them sooner than later because we're getting a bit of rain at the moment. So um, that should allow us to plant them. We'll just have to keep an eye if it gets a bit dry. We've got a new dog as well. This is actually Shadow, we named him Shadow, but this is the, the kitten we caught this time last year when I was planting the um, turnip, oh the grass, putting the paddock back into grass, real friendly, goes everywhere too. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice temperature at the moment. It's not hot at all. If anything, almost, almost need a jersey, but uh, it's nice. Good time to get some jobs done. Yeah, we're gonna get the sprayer filled up and go and do those turnip paddocks. And then we'll be into this line. Dusty stuff. So this stretch of drain here, what I'm doing is I'm spraying, I'm going, this time I'm spraying right over it, whereas when I cropped it I actually left a green strip down here to stop erosion, but there shouldn't be too much erosion this time because it's not getting worked up. So I'm spraying the whole drain, because I don't know if you remember I dug a whole lot of topsoil out of here, um, so did a bit of contouring, so the plan is to be able to drill the whole way up this drain, just 
so it'll be paddock and um, hopefully the grass will just hold it all together because um, it used to actually be this drain used to actually be just a grassy yeah you know, a dip in the paddock and the water would just run through it but that last season because it was so wet it um, just took you know took the guts out of it dug holes back further up there so yeah so that's a plan so giving this willow weed a good chance to die and then um, we'll drill it later on Grease the tractor. So one thing with the suspension on the front of this tractor, that you can't get grease into those grease circ down there when, or the grease nipple when it's um, under load. You always got to lift it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's definitely getting grease in there now. I struggled to get grease in that for a while, but um, over time, been able to get grease into it. Um, yeah, but otherwise the tractor's all greased checked all the fluids on that just got to finish greasing the spreader of greased around the back and now I just need to do pretty much the, the um, oscillating axle there grease that grease the front and the of the chain you know the these points So we've got uh, 35 ton of lime here and uh, going on the 81 hectares that we milk off here uh, it's 400 th 432 kgs a hectare I'm gonna round it up to 500 I know it seems like a bit but there's quite a few areas that we won't actually get any lime on there's a couple of steep hillsides um, down that way that aren't gonna get done and there's also paddock at the back quite a bit quite a bit of that won't be able to get done so by the time you take off those few areas then yeah so so I'm just gonna pretty much just set it off what's on the trailer I'm not gonna worry about doing um, any trials because it's gonna be pretty hard to gauge it because I can't weigh the lime you know so not so I don't know how much is going in the spreader it's just gonna be bucket full <laughs> lunch there's a few grey clouds hanging around it feels like it's gonna rain so we're just gonna go till we can't get some more lime on so still got a bit to go actually I've only done two loads so still got a lot to go
crazy looking now. There's no wind and the, it just looks like the fog rolling across the hill. What's on the bonnet? Raindrops. I was about to sing, the raindrops are falling on my head. Don't ask me to sing. It's good, it's washing all the lime off the tractor. Don't need to empty the spreader. I don't think it'll last for long to be honest. But you never know. It is quite grey over that way. We've got a leakage from somewhere in there. 